Hey, Beth here. You know, I try not to answer everybody's questions about stupid shit, but I'm telling you what, you know, when you try to help somebody, there's always got to be somebody that just, nah, nah, nah. They got to say their two cents, and I don't care if you want to say your two cents. All I'm saying is, the video I done with Miss Massey the other day was simply to bring out the living conditions. Now, whether it's assisted living now, or it was, or when it changed, uh, when did it change from uh, metropolitan housing to uh, millennia uh, housing for ma management from Cleveland? Who cares? Here's what I'm saying. If you live in the towers, uh, well, you're truly blessed. I mean, really. You know, you got a nice, well, 20 years ago it was nice. You got a nice view. You got... You got things uh, taken care of. But, you know, for people that live there now to attack me for simply bringing attention to uh, the uh, intercom system not working where you can buzz people in and, uh, uh, and it's static and you can't hear about it. That's it's simply, I'm just trying to talk and help the elderly. So to attack me for trying to help the elderly, you look like a fucking idiot. You do. You, you really do. And uh, I don't know who these people are, and I'm not going to name names. Oh, but you make up these names. I mean, gosh, are you people so afraid uh, to say who you are? Um, anyway, you know, the, the world doesn't want complex. They want easy. They want easy. So anything I say is going to be complex to people. And, uh, you know, whatever. That, uh, you know, yeah, people judging you is a bitch, but it won't kill you. It won't kill you. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be, uh, going in depth, uh, with the, the high rise down here. And it, it doesn't matter what you comment on there. Like I said earlier tonight, I will remove it if I want to, you know, I don't, I don't care. Uh, I don't care what you have to say. I don't care your judgment of me, but I will tell you one story. And this happened years ago when I was working, um, you know, uh, uh, it was a local nursing home here, and an uh, elderly lady uh, didn't have any family left, okay? So, uh, this man, uh, this young man and this woman uh, went to her room and uh, put pictures of themselves up on her, on her little uh, uh, board that you put a thumbtack on, put pictures of themselves. She had dementia, okay? And they put pictures of themselves on that board to mislead the workers there. And, of course, some of the workers, I can go on and on about the health aides. Um, some of the workers would just, you know, okay, uh, I guess you're a relative. Well, uh, this particular young man and young woman, evil, evil, um, don't know where you are. Don't I arrested you and put you in jail, but don't know what happened to you. Uh, that's not my concern now. Here's the fact, though. They would go in there. This woman could not speak, okay? The nurse aide would come in. Instead of checking everything, uh, they said, Oh, this is my grandmother, and, and uh, you know, we just stopped to see her, but she can't talk. Well, that's, this young man and young woman took advantage of that woman not being able to talk, and uh, they would hug her. And then when they would hug her, they would take her fentanyl patch off her back and then suck on it. Are you, did you hear what I just said? They would take the fentanyl patch off of her back and suck on it, okay? So, not only was the lady not having her pain meds, um, but she couldn't speak. She couldn't speak to the nurse to say, the, I don't know these people. They're hugging me. I don't know who they are. But I caught them. And they had a little trail from the uh, car wash uh, down there. Uh on Latonia, and they had a little trail where they walked through there to, to see her. I just happened to be there one day, and I, uh, you know, the police did call. I mean, the nursing home did call the police and say, we don't know who these people are. So then, you know, I took care of that. But, you know, someone argued tonight that uh, me talking about Sherman Thompson Towers was, uh, I was endangering people, not only Napoleon, but... A lady got on there with a fake name, Amber, honey. 
if you can't say your real name. And she lives there, supposedly. And she's, uh, of course, like I said the other night, you know, nobody wants to be evicted from their apartment. So, yes, you're going to take up for management. You're going to take up for whoever is in control of everything. Um, you know, it's, it, it, it's not my uh, concern to investigate management or anything like that. My concern is the safety of the elderly people. And, you know, Tracy and, uh, you know, uh, you all can get on there and say whatever you want to about these elderly people. That's not, that's not, that's not my concern. What I'm just saying is, you know, um, you know, uh, then she came on there and said, do your research. Well, honey, <laughs> I was doing research, uh, uh, never mind. Um, you know, and, uh, then I've got home health aides that contact me, friends of mine for years that worked there. They, can't, they said cameras never worked. You know, I went in there several times with uh, several different funeral homes um, and uh, went down many an elevator with uh, uh, a corpse uh, on a gurney. And, uh, you know, uh, if you don't have family members, if you don't have them listed on your refrigerator, uh, they don't call anybody. They don't call anybody. They just automatically go to a certain funeral home. So, uh, that's a whole different story. But anyway, the home health aides that used to go there, um, you know, um, I, I respect a lot of home health aides, but, um, you know, uh, when my grandmother was at, uh, at Joe Lynn's, you know, she had to have a lock to lock, you know, you, you go your whole life, work your whole life to have a home and, and kids and grandkids and have a nice home and enjoy it. Then everything's taken away, you know. Uh, oh, God. And then she had this little key that she could lock just several belongings in. You know, maybe a notepad or maybe pictures of, of us, of her grandchildren or... Uh, maybe a dollar fifty or anything like that. Then you have some of these people that work at these nursing homes. If you look at their backgrounds, they get those jobs real easy, uh, but they go in and they steal off of these elderly people. Most of them, that most of them steal off the elderly people that cannot talk or function correctly, and then uh, they steal their medication. They sell it or they use it themselves. Uh, I'm not saying everybody does that. I'm just saying there are home health people. And there are nursing home people that do that. I've witnessed it. I was there. I was there. My great-grandmother, Martha Morrison, um, uh, passed away there at 100 years old. Uh, her daughter, uh, my grandmother, uh, Fanny Markins, um, passed away there. So, you know... If you work your whole entire life to have every single thing anybody would want, you know, a roof over your head, family, grandchildren, children, whatever, and then you're reduced to being in a bed um, and have one little drawer and a one poster board that you can put pictures of your family up, um, is, that, uh, is that taking care of the elderly? Um, are, are they discarded? Are they drugged? So they just are simply are just sleeping and out of it. So you don't have to deal with them or bathe them. Oh, people, don't get me started on, on the nursing homes um, or the, the home health aides. Now, I know a lot of them, like I said, that are good. But um, I know a lot that, uh, you know, you get how many. If you can Google, uh, Google that, you can see uh, the percentage of how many. Uh, these uh, home health people uh, have backgrounds with drugs. So, now let me move on to something else. Um, I'm going to talk about Napoleon for a minute. Um, you know, yes, I know when I go on somebody's live feed, they can see that I'm watching. So, that wasn't a really big deal. That wasn't a big discovery. I was on there for about three minutes. And, uh, of course, he... Uh, he uh, he said the Lord's name in vain, and he was talking about a, a Lincoln, a, a car. Then he talked about a Mustang, and then he said, "Oh, there's a pit. there's the police. Uh, I'll park over here across the street, and I will uh, see where they go." And then they waited in silence. 
two and a half minutes silence. People paying him to listen to his bullshit, okay? Oh, well, they're pulling out. And then the cop goes up, turns right, and what does he do? Goes straight. Avoids that cop. Oh, my God. And you people are sending him cash app. You know, that's the first thing he says on there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know who Queen B is. I don't give a shit who, who that is. I don't know if it's a man or a woman. I don't care. It's none of my business. It's none of my concern. But, you know, you're going to send this man money to listen to him cuss and talk about cars and and talk about bullshit and laugh and then say the Lord's name in vain and then five seconds later say, uh, we want to send out prayers to somebody for the large intestine problems. Oh my God, people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So anyway, I am going to shut down uh, this crap uh, tonight. I will be getting in depth about the Sherman Thompson Towers. I don't care if it's assisted living or not. The American with the uh, uh, Disabilities Act protects these elderly people. I don't care if you're handicapped or elderly. You are protected by a federal class. And you can say I'm wrong. I don't care. I don't care. You know, I'm simply trying to help people. I'm not trying to, you know, I don't think uh, by me. I did not say that anybody could walk in there. I'm saying the, 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 she said everything. I did not say nothing but ask her questions. She's the one that said, you know, when, when, when somebody buzzes her, it's nothing but static. So people will let people in thinking that's their loved one. She said in the video, sometimes she has one friend that comes by. Sometimes, not very often, that friend comes by or sometimes her boyfriend comes by. But, other people that live there are so afraid of being evicted, uh, thinking they're going to side with something I say. This whole entire thing about the elderly is not about me. It's not about me. As you can see in the video, I'm not in the video. It's focused on the elderly woman that I was interviewing. So, you guys, uh, get your priorities straight, okay? Get your, get your head in the right corner. You know, uh, what are you doing to help the community? What are you doing? And then uh, on uh, uh, his uh, uh, video uh, tonight, like I said, you know, just talking about stupid shit. And people on there saying, oh, we're sending you money. What for? He does not do what he his uh, title says he's doing. He's not following the police department. He's big buddies with them. I mean, my dear God. And, you know, I, did, I have ignored that man. Uh, ever since the roast. And he had to come on there uh, yesterday and say something on my YouTube. And I allowed it. You know, I didn't care. I told him I respected his opinion. Okay. So then all of a sudden, boom, all the uh, uh, comments were gone. And now on his channel, he's got a big, he's supporting the homeless. Oh, honey. Um, you know, uh, it, how can you support the homeless when you say the Lord's name in vain and when every other word is a cuss word and then five seconds later you say pray for somebody? <sighs> oh, I, it, 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 uh, it, it just is really, uh, uh, it's not funny. It's really sad that you uh, feel like you're important. And, and now that you don't have the, the following that you got from uh, uh, Chili's uh, friends that were following you to see if you were going to do what Chili asked you to do and what you claimed you were going to do. Um, yeah, you got all them subs, but how many people watched your video tonight? What, 21? You got 4.9 uh, thousand subs? Where were they? Where were they? So anyway... I'll be back here in a little bit. Um, uh, it's just uh, uncanny how uh, people, uh, when you're trying to help somebody and you make it all about that person and not about yourself, they attack you and try to, to correct you on what uh, somebody you interview says. No, I do not live at Sherman Thompson Towers. I know lots of people that do. I, I have uh, lifelong friends that live there. So, 
All I'm saying is, if it's not assisted living, okay. But why was it never announced on the news or in the newspaper when it changed from being assisted living to just simple rental property? So if it's simple rental property, um, why would you provide the blue room and uh, the bingo and all that stuff? So whatever people, okay? So I will be back tomorrow and it, feel free to, to call me and uh, you know, uh, Napoleon, honey, um, uh, you did a video a month ago, and you got 234 views. And, um, you know, if you're going to go on your, your channel and cuss, and, uh, <laughs> you and Ed, honey, um, you know, nobody wants to hear that shit. And if somebody's giving you money to listen to you cuss and, 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 and make fun of and say the Lord's name in vain, um, you know, wow, what a following you have. What a following you have. And, you know, I've left it alone. I've left it alone. And you come on my channel and start shit. And just like old Tracy, uh, you know, nothing against you, honey. I don't even know who you are. Uh, but uh, you had to start shit. So, um, anyway, everybody have a good night. And just relax. It's the weekend, like I said earlier. It's the weekend. And everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. And uh, if anything... Um, if anybody that I've talked to down at Sherman Thompson Towers uh, feels like somebody's knocking at their door, uh, call 911. If the police don't come, that's on them. Obviously, uh, when uh, Mrs. Massey uh, called 911 the other day, uh, they said they would log it. And uh, she said, do I need to make a police report? And they said, no, we'll log it. Well, the police never came down there to talk to her. So, if anything happens to this woman, and uh, that's going to be a whole nother different area, isn't it? So, you guys just chill out, turn on your favorite uh, uh, show, and just get off that bandwagon of trying to give me shit for trying to help the elderly or the homeless. And, uh, you know, you are not going to deter me uh, from doing what I want to do. Um, you know, uh, it, it's just not going to happen. It, you're, you're not going to uh, change anything that I'm going to do in the future. And, um, go ahead. It's, it's two, two forty in the morning and these people are, um, these people are still texting me. Let's read some of them. One, two. Okay. Oh, mercy sakes. Now, there's some uh, people there um, that uh, are uh, victims of certain crimes, and they do not want to be recognized. And I would never, never expose anybody. Uh, uh, Miss Massey uh, just simply said, uh, you know, that she would like to talk about it. So, she did, and I give her kudos. I mean, you know, everybody else on here is attacking me and her for saying the truth. Um My goodness. Um, you know, just like, <laughs> uh, and I have a whole nother uh, section about the uh, Otis company, uh, the elevator company that uh, is was over both high-rises there, which uh, Chris Perry did a, a video uh, about the, the one on 8th Street. Um Uh, the parts were always there, you know, and, and they threw these new uh, members in there uh, and they don't have any clue how to, to fix the problem or what they're doing. And they're all appointed. Uh, like I said, one's appointed by the commissioners. Uh, one's appointed by probate court, common pleas court, etc. So um, it doesn't list exactly which judge appointed them, but they were thrown in this whole situation uh, at the other high rise. Um, you know, uh, it all connects to Athens and the woman that got 10 years in prison for embezzlement. But it, it goes on and on. Um, it's just, uh, you know, when somebody's trying to do good for people, that green-eyed monster comes out, doesn't it? 
I mean, why would anybody want to give me hell for trying to help the elderly? You know? So, anyway, um, this is Beth Rist. And, yes, I'm kind of tired of this uh, all day long. It's been going on and on and on. Um, I think uh, if the lease uh, says that you are living in an assisted uh, facility and then uh, they never change the lease, I think that's probably a little bit of a libel suit there uh, to guarantee you protection or uh, uh, privacy or uh, have to buzz some through, someone through. And, uh, you know, if you're there, if you're a worker there, I understand. And this Amber person may be a worker there. You know, I talked to them the other day. And, uh, oh, oh, it, it's it's uh, just it's just like renting an apartment. Well, when did you alert Ironton, the citizens of Ironton? I was on council for 12 years. Nobody ever alerted us that, um, you know, it wasn't assisted living anymore. Um, you know, and I talked to councilman the other day. Well, that's not our responsibility. Well, Sherman Thompson Towers is in the city of Ironton. So, yes, I would say uh, that would be the mayor and the council uh, responsibility. If that, that facility is in Ironton, it is important to the authorities, the top authorities. So, if you don't agree with me with that, go on and get on there and just have a field day. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have a donut. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a donut, um, and I'm going to go in there in my room. Now, if you want to call me, you just call me. Um, but um, I will be doing a little breakdown of, uh, of the whole uh, video of Napoleon. And I don't even really need to. And a lot of people say, a lot of my friends say, oh, don't worry with him. But, you know, he came on my channel, and, and I, ha I don't even follow him. But he came on my channel and tried to tell me, that I was stupid because I put people in danger. Um, honey, I'm, I hope you're enjoying that washer I got for you. And, uh, you know, you started this shit. You came, you came on my channel. I hadn't bothered you for months. You came on my channel and you started something. Now, do you really want to get into that too, again? Do you really want to get into it again? Because the, your videos where people are sending you money that that's your top priority oh yeah you said tonight oh yeah uh yeah the cash app let me get the you know honey um you know find something better to do with your time than drive around and say oh it's snowing the temperature's this and uh you know no nothing about the police and yet you have three different youtube channels behind the mask accountability you know Say who you are. Say your real name. Don't hide behind a mask. Don't have a big avatar of a tiger and, and have a big logo. Be, be you, honey. Be you. Put your teeth in and be you, okay? Nobody's going to judge you if you stand up for yourself. You know, you can judge me all you want to. I've not done anything to you except take up for myself. So, anyway... My goodness. Uh, I'm going to get off here for now. And uh, anybody else want to say anything, go ahead. Now, I'm not going to tolerate the bullshit when I'm trying to be concerned about the elderly or the homeless, which i I seen on uh, Napoleon's uh, page. Uh, now, he, he's doing a whole thing for the homeless. Um, honey, um, what did you do with the things you... Uh, what, what did you do with the things you collected for the homeless last year? Did you give them to one person? I think you did. And then did you have people line up acting like you were handing them out personally? No, I don't do videos of uh, me uh, giving people blankets or anything like that. I don't need to do a video about what I do for the elderly um, or the homeless, you know. Um, I don't have to prove what I do. The people that accept those blankets and... Like I've said tons and tons of times, thank you for everybody that contributes to that. And those people get to sleep now at night with a warm blanket. No, I'm not going to video and try to get uh, credit uh, for helping people that are less fortunate. You know, why do you people get on here and give me hell for helping people? 
You know, is it something deep inside of you that, that, that bothers you uh, about me trying to help people? I tell you, you better thank your lucky stars that maybe your family is uh, uh, fortunate enough to have things where they don't need help. Um, but like I said, um, you know, even if you hate me or you dog me, if you need help, uh, contact me and I'll help you. That's just, that's just me. That's just how I am. That's just, you know, that, you know, I'm, I'm easy going like that. So, um, you can hate me or say whatever you want, but if you need my help, call me. Okay. God bless everybody. Just chill. My dear goodness. Okay. Uh, God bless you.